Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest. .com. and today I'm going to show you how to make these darling little fairy doors out of nothing more than popsicle sticks and glitter and upcycled cheap old Dollar Tree flowers. So I think it turned out pretty cute, and I have a lot of different links to share with you, including where I got the fairies and. The price was extremely cheap, so um, I'll show you how I made these these little fairy doors, and I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make up some little um, flowers, and I just chose these cheap little tiny flowers from the Dollar Tree, and these are Dollar Tree flowers as well and um, we're going to put them together to make them look really pretty and full. And the reason I do this is because when you're buying the small little paper flower roses, they can get pretty expensive awfully quick. And so if you make your own, you don't have to worry about that. You can make a ton of these for a dollar. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to spread these apart. And I think I'm going to put this aside and use these pieces. They're a little bit smaller. So the first piece, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in a circle like that. Let me lower my camera. And I'm going to set these a little this piece here a little askew so each one of the petals are in between two bottom petals. It makes it look fuller that way. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And set these petals in between these two petals all the way around like that and I'm just going to kind of like that alright so now I'm going to set or I'm going to put some um, triple thick just in the middle part I'll show you just up along the walls of the smallest flower in the middle the top flower and then as you can see I'm putting quite a bit going to close this and then take some of my Marquis Love glitter. It's a chunkier glitter. It has white and silver iridescent sprinkles here. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all the way around the sides. And I'm not real concerned if it gets in the middle because we'll be gluing something over that after this completely dries. Okay, so I'm going to allow this little blossom here to dry thoroughly. I'll set this aside and now I'm going to work with the little purple flowers. So, you can use all kinds of decorations for these little fairy doors, but I really like using the flowers because I think it gives it a lot of texture. 
and you can make your flowers as full or as small as you want. I know this is pretty, I think I might set this aside and just work with these smaller ones. But it doesn't matter because we're going to make them really pretty. Now for this one, I'm thinking this might work for the center. I thought it was pretty. And it's called fairy dust. And I didn't I didn't plan that. <laughs> and it's tinsel glitter by recollections. So maybe I'll put a little bit of the triple thick in the middle of that. Right up here along the walls of the top flower, or top petal, I should say. Okay. Come in with fairy dust. Okay, then I'm just going to pick it up and kind of shake it around the walls. I'm going to allow this to dry, set this off to the side, and I think I might make some white ones, some little tiny white ones from this Dollar Tree bunch. Like that, maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe three of them. These are, should be easy to make. If you want, you can use a third petal for this. I don't know if I want to do that or just leave it as it is. I think I'll just leave it as it is with these two petals. I'm going to be putting some glitter in the center anyway. So. Let me clean up this. Normally I would be taking this and putting it back in my glitter jar, but I don't like to waste time when I'm doing a video. Okay. stringy things <laughs> alrighty and then um, I think maybe one more yeah. uh, these have little tinky holes in them sometimes that happens when I buy these from the Dollar Tree I'm not sure why? So, just pick up another one, and I'm gonna set this a little askew. Okay, and 
So now I'm going to put a little bit of that triple thick in the middle and I think this time I might use some of the Recollections Glitz Tencel Glitter. Of course you don't have to have these exact brands and exact names. You can find something really pretty and equivalent to these if you don't have that particular brand um, at your craft store or you can't get to a Michaels. in here, all in out around the walls of the top flower. There we go. That'll be pretty. And I think this one I might use A little different glitter, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll use the, the ultra fine glitter in glitz. That's like an iridescent type glitter, and it's ultra fine, of course. Yeah, that worked out really pretty. I'll probably do the same thing on this one. And then, of course, I'll allow all these to dry, and then I'll come back and probably put a little pearl center in the middle of each of these flowers. I have some acrylic pearls. It's best to use acrylic pearls because they're not as weighty. And you can get them for pretty darn cheap, too. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to allow all my little flowers here to dry that I want to decorate my little tag with. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some craft sticks. And I believe I purchased these from Walmart. And they are four and a half inches by three eighths of an inch. So for each little fairy door you're going to need um, six of these sticks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now for the first stick all I do, and I'm, I'm not measuring it, all I do is just cut off the tip here so it won't be rounded. And I'm using the back of my blades on um, a heavy duty pair of scissors that I have that I don't really care all that much about. And I'm going to do this on both sides. And I just cut it as evenly as possible. So, <clears throat> with I'm going to set this stick ahead, aside. Um, <laughs> but with these sticks here, the other four, I'm just going to lay it down like this and just kind of mark it off as to where I'm going to cut it so they'll be somewhat even. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's for sure. It just adds to the character of the door, but it's giving us a rough estimate here. And then with this one here. Alrighty, so I'm going to snip off the ends on the other four, so we'll have a total of five sticks, and then I'll be back. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've cut five sticks. And like I said, I'm just setting this particular one here aside. So I'm just going to push them together and just kind of get an idea of exactly where I want them. And if they're not 100% perfect or lined up, it just adds to the character of the door. If you're a little bit OCD about stuff like that, um, that's fine because after everything's glued together, you can come back in and just trim it up if you'd like with the, your scissors. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to push these together the best I know how. Just like so. Okay. So now we're going to take this stick and we're going to need two pieces. One to place here and one to place here. So um, what I do is um, I come in and just cut off the very tips right here where the circle is. Just the very tip. And then I decide about how long I want it. Measure it up because it has to sit on top of the door here. Straight across. Now um, I just kind of hover over it a little bit and just get a rough idea. And then of course I'll have to make one for down here too. So I'll probably cut it about here. So with that marked off, I'm going to cut this piece here off. We don't need that one. And yes, these will fly when you cut them. That's the piece that I want here. So we'll have two pieces. This one here was a little bit splintered when I took it out of the package, but that's fine. It'll look okay. I'm just going to drop one on top here as well as here. Right about where I think it looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good, I think. And um, so before we glue everything together, you're going to need some connectors or a piece of a connector or a filigree. I have these in silver and gold. These are 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter. And I, yes, I do have a link. And I'll make sure to put that down below in the drop down bar as well as on my blog and they're not heavy duty, you, these are bendable so if they're bendable you can also cut them. So um, I decided I wanted to use these for the door hinges but I want to make sure that um, I'll be able to fit these door hinges on the top. Um, so if you need to kind of move this down a little bit with your pencil in order for that to fit um, you can do that. And same with down here. So it looks like it's pretty good on both ends. So I'm just going to go down the middle here and cut this in half. Like so. And there's a little tiny piece here and here. I'm just going to snip that right off. And that's very easy to do. Now if you don't have little connectors and you don't want to buy any, you can look for the larger connectors or, or um, filigree blanks I should say and uh, the ones that are bendable. You can cut little pieces off if you want to make little um, door hinges. So I'll make sure to put a link to a seller that, that I use for the larger ones if you're interested in those as well. So um, 
you can use two different things to glue these wooden pieces on. You can use turbo tacky glue and of course you'll have to allow this to dry overnight. I wouldn't recommend regular um, tacky glue. I like the turbo tacky glue because it has more resin in it and so you're going to get a tighter bond. Or you can just use your hot glue gun and you can either choose to pick this up with your fingers like so very carefully and I want kind of looking at where I picked that up from and I'm going to put some glue down the middle but I'm not going to put so much that when I lay it back down it's going to squish out get an idea and you have a limited amount of time to put this on if you use the hot glue. If you use the turbo tacky glue you can play with it a bit. But once you get that first one on that's really the hardest part. And it's not really hard. And then make sure down right here. Okay. And if you see any uneven pieces, like I said, you can go in after the glue is set and you can just kind of even it up a little bit by doing this. Like that. And same with down here. and it holds pretty well. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. I might kind of shave this off a little bit here at the bottom. But you can see how well it holds. I think that looks good enough. So um, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to paint it. You can use any colors that you would like and we're setting our little hinges aside for a moment. I'm going to paint this up, glitter it up, and then we'll do all the rest of the stuff. But the painting comes first. And so I chose this folk art acrylic paint and it is called metallic amethyst so I'm going to mix some up in a cup and I think I'm going to put a little bit of white in it first because I really like to make the doors a pastel color because I think it just it really um, brings out the iridescence and the glitter. When you have darker colors it's kind of difficult. So I'm putting actually more white than I am the amethyst. And I'm just going to mix it up. Just a second. Okay. And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit here. So we have a pretty lavender color. Yeah, so I, th I like that color. So I'm um, just going to take my makeup brush and just paint it like so. Doesn't have to be perfect just like so 
and then we'll let this side dry and they dry fairly quickly um, you can leave it out in the sun or you can put it near a small tabletop fan like I usually do I try not to make this gloppy like at the in between the pieces like that but you really can't mess this up there's really not too many ways you could mess up a fairy door because anything that looks um, a little transparent or some or anything like that it just kind of adds to the look of the the rustic look of the door so I'm going to um, set this down to dry and when this parts dry oh you know what I don't forget the sides when this parts dry then I'll turn it over and I'll do the back and After that's finished, we'll glitter it up. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry. And then I'll do the back and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, our door is completely dry and it didn't take too long at all when I put a tabletop fan on it. So um, this will be the front of our door. So the first thing we're going to do is glitter it up. Now I have three different types of glitter that I love to use and the first one is tinsel glitter in the color glitz by Recollections. So here we go. And the second one is this iridescent jumbo glitter called Crystal Quartz and I bought that at Walmart. And then of course my German glass glitter that I bought from Sugar Camp Cottage and I'll make sure to give you a link in the show more drop down bar below as well and um, if you can't find uh, these glitters then you can always look for something equivalent now <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is open my little jar of triple thick and I'm going to be pretty generous putting on this triple thick because it's going to be holding all three of those glitters so we we want to put a fairly good amount on here getting close to the end of this jar here so I'm going to have to order another one this is only a four ounce jar I'm going to order the eight ounce jar on eBay okay and then down here and of course we'll allow this to dry for a good 24 hours and then we just come back and and decorate it that's the fun part and this will dry like clear glass of course so I'm going to set this down and <clears throat> set this aside too okay first thing I'm going to put on are these uh, little circular iridescent glitters that gives it kind of a fairy look I think this is crystal quartz and and then I'm going to add some of this tinsel glitter And then lastly, the German glass glitter. And I'm just going to add a, add a little touch of that here and there.
and then I'm going to come in with um, a popsicle stick. Just very, very lightly, I'm going to tap the glitter down just a little bit. I want to make sure that the um, shards from the German glass glitter um, is laying flat, and it also does not hurt as far as pushing the glitter into the triple thick. Whenever you're using glass glitter, it's always a good idea to do that, just in case. So, I don't know if you can see, but already it's this beautiful glittery effect on here. So we're going to let this dry for 24 hours, like I said, and that way we'll know that it is good, the glitter is good and solid. So, we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll come back and decorate it. Okay, so as you can see, it's completely dry. And I'm just leaving the back part painted. So, I'm just taking one of the little connectors that I cut in half. And I'm going to use my detail hot glue gun and just put a tiny amount on the solid parts right here and then I'm going to place it right here at the top evenly and then I'm going to pick, place another door hinge at the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing I love this detail glue gun of mine I don't know how I lived without it for all these years. <laughs> and I'm going to place that about here. Okay, so now we're going to place the doorknob on. And I'm just taking an entire filigree connector here. And I'm just going to put hot glue on the parts that are solid. And I'm going to place it right about here, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to use one of these little acrylic pearls. They're not glass, they're acrylic, so they're lightweight. And I think I'll use about a 6 millimeter pearl for the door handle. Now I'm going to place my toothpick right about here, because I want the holes facing side to side. I don't want them, uh, the holes facing upwards. And if you have any no hole pearls, then that's wonderful. So, placing a little hot glue here, and I'm placing this on. And by the way, the hot glue I'm using is the Gorilla Glue brand at Walmart, and it holds it very well like that. Okay, so the next part is we're going to glue our little fairy on here. Now, I bought these little fairy cupcake toppers from a seller in China, and it was something like $2.48, and you get 48 of them, and they're all different designs. And I'll make sure to put a link in the show more drop down bar below as well as on my blog. And you can see some of the other fairies. And the seller that I'm listing below, he's not the only one that sells these. I was surprised to find them um, on eBay with uh, different sellers. But I know that um, the seller that I'm listing, he's, he's really good and I've always received my items from him. Now, the, taking out the toothpick is easy. Um, <clears throat> my last video where I used 
these fairies in my fairy tag video. I just snipped off the toothpick because I was afraid that I would rip this if I took it out. Well, it's actually very easy. I was told this by someone else who was using the fairies. Just kind of twist it and then pull it out and it comes right out. Like that. So once you do that, set these aside. <clears throat> You're going to see some white outline. Now you that may not bother you. You may be okay with that. But if you want to come in and cut some of that off, you can. And you're going, you're going to need precision scissors with a pointy tips in order to do this. You can't use regular scissors. It won't work. And you can cut off some of the white parts. And um, then you can outline it with a leafing pin gold or silver. Right now I only have a gold leafing pen. I have to go out and purchase a silver one. So that's what I'm going to be using today is the gold one. And even though it might look a little choppy at first when you do this, you'll see how the gold leafing pen outlines it and it actually looks really nice. And so I'm just going to continue cutting off as much of the white part as I can and then I'll be back. Okay so I trimmed as much of the white as I felt that I safely could without ruining the image and I'm taking my 18 karat gold leafing pen and I'm just going to do this and just lay it against the edges and outline it like that and when you do that it really makes it pop and any kind of rough cuts around the edges it'll smooth out so I just take my time doing this and just kind of dab it careful not to touch the paint before it dries going on around here So I'm going to allow the little fairy to dry for just um, a few minutes and then we'll pick her up and glue her on the door. Okay, so I'm going to want my fairy to be standing on this ledge here. So I'm going to turn it over in the back and if you notice these fairies have the same print on the back and the front which is kind of cool if you want to use them for other projects and I'm just going to put a small amount of glue here and there and I'm going to place her I think right about there. Just like that. Okay. Little part, this part here, the flowers will stick out, but that's okay. That's just for that particular print, though. This print that I used 
the whole variant was able to glue on. Okay. Okay, so next we'll be gluing this little butterfly that I made with these wooden buttons that I purchased from eBay. They were really cheap. And I'll make sure to give you a link down below to this. And I also have a tutorial on how I made this. Um, if you're interested, you can click on that tutorial at the very end of this video. I'll put a little thumbnail up to my domino pendant video. And in there it will show you how to make these. Okay, so I'm going to place this right here in the corner. But I have to be careful because I'm also going to place this bale which I'll also have a link to, right in the middle. So I don't want to push this so far over that I won't be able to put the bale on. So right here in the corner like that is good. So I'm just going to place some hot glue back here. And then place it right here in the corner and it holds really well. <clears throat> now with this little bale here, I shouldn't say little, it's actually a larger bale, I'm going to place some E6000 and then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue so it will stay in place while it's drying and I'm going to place this in the middle and the middle is really easy to find here because all you do is look for um, the the middle popsicle stick here and then just place your bale there now I got a little bit messy with this bale but you can go in while it's still warm and scrape the edges and if it's too messy like this is you can always go in afterwards and cut a little leaf shape and just put the a little leaf over the bale like that so you can't see it I got a little bit messy with the glue here so I'm just going to let this dry for a while and we'll go on to the flowers. Okay, so as you can see, the flowers that I made um, after drying for 24 hours, they become quite hard and stiff in the middle. So we're going to be adding pearls to the middle, but before we do that, I'm going to take a leaf and you can use any leaf that you can, that um, you cut off artificial flowers <clears throat> and all I'm doing is making smaller leaves out of them like so and they don't have to be perfect just they just have to look somewhat like a leaf <laughs> so I'm going to make a couple of those. Oops. I don't like how that one turned out, so let me try a different one. Okay. See? Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to make one for the back to cover up that messy veil. somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll make one that's a little wider than that. See, I'm not perfect making these, but just do the best you can. And I like using the dark green leaves from the artificial flowers. I don't like the lighter green ones. I don't think they look as realistic. 
so on the back here, just going to put a little dab of hot glue and just cover it up with this leaf. And it sets up very quickly. It didn't even give me time to move this leaf around, so I'm going to have to trim the top part. Okay. And yeah, maybe I should have made it even wider. Doggone it. Pull this off before it sets up. And it's good that I show you that I'm making these mistakes because then if it happens to you, then you can do the same. Okay, let me cut a larger leaf here. That's a lot larger. So let's try this again. Okay. There we go. That looks a little better anyway, huh? Okay. So <clears throat> now we're going to move on to the flowers. And like I said, we'll put the pearl centers in afterwards. So I'm just going to kind of mess around with these and see about where I want them. Maybe something like this. And then I can take these two little leaves and maybe place one here. Um, maybe even a couple down below here. That wouldn't be bad. So I'm going to save this one. Just going to use three of these. And I'm going to start by placing some hot glue here to glue the pink one down. And see how I'm kind of tilting it somewhat on its side? And then I'm going to do the, this one in the opposite direction. Kind of having it face this way and then the third one I'm going to place up here and a tilting a little bit that way in that direction okay and these will look pretty once we put the pearls in so I'm thinking let's see Bit of hot glue there. Like so. And then maybe, maybe this piece here or Maybe just put two down here, or even one right here. Let's see. Thinking maybe. Maybe one up there. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on this, just at the tip. And I'm going to slide this in here. Pull it kind of out. You don't want to lay it flat. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have to put the pearls on. I think I'm going to use a, probably about an 8 millimeter pearl for the center of the larger flowers. A little bit of hot glue here. And 
this on right about here. And then maybe I'll use a pastel pink for this one. Glue in the center. And then for the white one, maybe I'll use some um, smaller, smaller one in maybe about a six millimeter. And that's a different. A real light pink. And I'll place that right about here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And the only thing that we have to do to this is just slip a ribbon through the top here. And I'm just using a, um, a narrow ribbon. <clears throat> A sparkly one here. This is about one fourth inch wide. You can do all kinds of things with these little fairy doors. You can turn them into package decorations where the person can use it afterwards um, as decor. Maybe hang it near a light switch or something like that. That would be cute. Or you could actually use these little doors if you're making um, little fairy pots. You can glue this to the outside of the pot and I've seen that where um, people have glued stones around it and made it look like a little entrance to a, to a fairy house. You can also turn these into Christmas ornaments. It's up to you. So I'm just going to push these two pieces through here and pull this tightly. And just cut this at the top at an angle. And that's it. That's it. That's all you do. So I think this turned out really cute. We have the one that I did in pink as well. Just make sure to get all the little hot glue things off here. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed this project and I hope you make your own little fairy doors. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I appreciate each and every one of you and God bless you all. Bye bye.